The news summary, good evening. IP and SMEs taking ideas to the market is the theme of the World Intellectual Property Day, which is uh, today. To mark the occasion, the Department of Trade and the Registrar's, uh, Registrar General's Office are encouraging more Seychellois to protect their intellectual property rights. The two partners are organizing a series of activities during the week to sensitize people about the matter. This will include online workshops in collaboration with the American Embassy and later on there will also be one in partnership with the World International Property Organization, WIPO. Seychelles has been a member of WIPO over the past 20 years and so far 15,000 intellectual properties in the form of patents, copyrights and trademarks have been registered locally. In the past, we've seen that intellectual property was not given the prominence and it was only international companies registering their trademarks here to protect the intellectual property. However, over the years, more and more, we have seen that we are getting more registration from the local population. We've been trying together with the Office of the Registrar General and also trying with ESA to have training when they do the training for the SMEs to include a training on intellectual property, to sensitize them on the importance of registering the intellectual property. Because it's, you, you have to have ownership of something you've created and not to have other people abuse on that or make money from your creation. We also have a national IP committee. It's chaired by uh, myself, whereby we have different stakeholders in the country that deals with intellectual property. Even though the Registrar General's Office is the registers um, intellectual property, we deal with the policy side, we need to have inputs from different uh, actors in Seychelles, be it the police, customs, uh, University of Seychelles, uh, Ministry of Health, so all the actors and stakeholders, even the private sector on board. We have also the department responsible for culture they have for, for the past been the registration body for copyright. They have a lot of expertise. So having them on board also, when we made the transition that now copyright is registered by Registrar General as well, they've been helpful in doing the transition. And because they also deal with traditional folk, um, folklore, all these things. The Japanese government has expressed satisfaction with the renovation work that was carried out on the new center for the hearing impaired at Montfleury, which was formerly the Maritime School. This morning, the Japanese ambassador to Seychelles, Tominaga Makoto, toured the facility, which has been renovated at a cost of $76,000 or almost 1 million rupees through a grant for assisting grassroots human security projects. Mr. Makoto was accompanied by the chairperson of the Association for the Hearing Impaired, Anita Gardner. The center is equipped with a computer room, library, room for trainers, sick bay, boarding facilities, amongst others. Very, 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 very well satisfied with the renovation because, uh, you know, uh, very uh, uh, sophisticated, well equipped, new Deaf Institute. So uh, naturally, um, uh, we are very glad. We, we, we are looking for uh, other uh, projects and then we are still uh, in the process of uh, not, not an evaluation, <laughs> application. So the uh, application will, be, will expire uh, by uh, the end of uh, this August. So uh, if uh, you have uh, another uh, important project, please apply. The national airline Air Seychelles will operate a series of new charter flights from Romania's capital city, Bucharest, starting this Friday, the 30th of April. The nine-hour flight to be operated by the airline's A320neo aircraft 
with 168 seats will make an intermediate stop at Cairo International Airport for refueling before continuing on to Seychelles. According to a press release, flights scheduled until, uh, scheduled until Monday, May the 17th and are expected to carry more than 500 visitors to Seychelles. The national carrier will also operate additional charter services in August and December on this route. President uh, Wavell Rumkalawan will be addressing the nation this evening at 8 p.m. The address will be broadcast on SBC One, Paradise FM and Radio Cecil. The opposition United Seychelles Party is offering solidarity to the Indian High Commissioner here and the people of India following the second wave of devastating cases of COVID-19 in the country. The U.S. Party President, uh, Dr. Patrick Gemini, has in a letter to the Indian High Commissioner, General uh, Dalby Suhag, said that the U.S. is committed to working with the government and people of India in whatever way it can in order to help address the challenges of the pandemic. It also commends the government and people of India for providing vaccines for the people of Seychelles in January this year.